Hey, hey, what's up? Welcome to another episode with the Good Deal Guy. Today I want to show you guys real quick how to set up your camera. It's a Wi-Fi smart camera. You can use this one indoor or outdoor. And it's using the app V380 Pro. Now they make different cameras, like I said, for indoor and outdoor, but they come in different sizes or like different shapes. But the setup system is the same way. I'm going to show you guys how to set them up. You can use a Android phone or you can use an Apple phone. The setup is the same exact thing. Okay. Now, before I jump in, guys, real quick, I want you to do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button because this video, I'm going to do it in two parts. Part one, I really want to show you how to connect your camera with the Wi-Fi and how to connect the camera with your phone so you can use that. And the part two, I'm going to show you all the features because it has a lot of cool features, okay? So make sure you hit that subscribe and let's jump in. So first thing I wanna do, I wanna show you guys the camera itself. This is one of my favorite cameras. I actually have two at home and I love it. It's PTZ, it moves, it's pan, it tilt, it's zoom, and it's motion tracking and it lets me know there's any movement on my property. They're great for business or home, okay? And the camera itself, when you open the box, you have a manual, you have your adapter, you have your camera, but there is three little things here I want to show you quick. This one is to hardwire your camera so you can connect it directly to your router. This one here is a reset button. So if you hold it for about five seconds and you're going to hear a prompt that says the camera is resetting to factory default. What I would suggest every time I have a new camera, I reset it. That way I start from scratch so there's no mistakes. And this one here is for power. Okay. Let's do this quick. It's gonna make a little bit of a noise, so just bear with me guys while I plug it in. So this goes right here. You're gonna see a lot of flash, and then it's gonna flash again, and then it's gonna do a little turn. And that gives you guys a couple of seconds to download this app. It's V380 Pro, okay? System is starting. So I'm going to wait a couple of seconds so I don't want to speak over the camera so you can hear me. Okay. So when you go to your, when you go to the app and you install the app on your phone, it gives you two different options, login or register. Now I already have the app. System so start app completed. Access point preparing. Access point ready. Perfect. Now is our camera is ready to set up. So I'm going to leave this here for a second. Okay, so then you go, because you are brand new, you want to register, obviously. I want to hold this here so you guys can see. You go to register. It says, please enter your region. So there's our continent, Africa, Asia, Europe, mainland China, North America, Oceania, and South America. We are in North America, so we're going to pick our region here, North America, and then you want to put your email here, okay? And what it does, this is going to get a little tricky because what happens is once you put your email, it says enter the verification code. They're going to send you a verification code to the email you put in. So just, <clears throat> we can close this and you go to your email. I'm going to show you what it looks like real quick, guys. It looks like this. And it's kind of funny because it went to my spam box. So if you go to your email and then you don't see it, just go to your spam box, your junk box. You might see it quick. It says V380 Pro and then it gives you a six digit. You got to remember that or write it down or take a screenshot. Whatever you do, don't forget it. And you only have 60 seconds to log in. Okay. So and then you go back here. Excuse me. So you have your, you give you a little box there. You put your digits and you go in. Now, I already have an account, so I'm going to log into my account. Give me a second here. Excellent. Now, when you guys log in, this is what it's going to look like. It actually gives you, this is what I like about the V380 cameras. It actually gives you this camera here that's available. You can connect it like that or 
follow my advice, do it the manual way so there's no mistakes. So, we don't have any devices here, right? So we're gonna go to, you're gonna see two devices because I have two, these two cameras at my house already, but I'm doing it with another phone so I can, for the purpose of this video. So I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna show you how to do it manually. Add a device, you can do it here or you can do it here. So we're gonna do it right here. Add a device, okay? Now, there's again, two different ways you can do this. There is a little barcode here, guys, and you can scan this and do it, or, again, you can do it manually. So what do you wanna do? More ways to add. Now, it says Wi-Fi camera, 4G camera, wired camera, and low call for camera. What do you wanna do before you do this, guys? It's a Wi-Fi camera, obviously, so we push Wi-Fi. Now, this is a little tricky part. Before you go another step further, go to your settings, and i tell you why. When you go to your settings, you're gonna see your Wi-Fi, but you're gonna also see another number available. It's gonna be MB167, it's a digits. I'm gonna show you quick. You wanna pick that, because we're gonna do a hotspot connection. That's the easiest way to do. So I'm gonna go to my settings real quick. Settings. You go to your connection, and then you go to your Wi-Fi. Okay? So you're gonna see like me, that's my Wi-Fi here, but you might see Bell or Virgin or Rogers or whatever Wi-Fi you have, or AT&T or whatever your provider is. But you're gonna see this down here, it says MV45135355. Your number might be different because every camera has its own number. You want to connect to that. So I touch connect. Okay, and it says connecting, and then it's gonna say it's not secured and internet might not be available, but that's okay, don't worry about that, okay guys? See, internet might not be available. Connect this time. Perfect, now what do you wanna do? Get out of this, go back here, and then you're gonna go to the AP hotspot connection, the second one, okay? Now, there's a couple of different uh, Wi-Fi's here. You choose your Wi-Fi. These are my neighbor's Wi-Fi. Obviously, I don't want to connect to them. So I choose my Wi-Fi and I put my password. So give me a second. So it goes right here, something like this. And you want to make sure you put your Wi-Fi correctly and your password correctly. It might sound silly, but if you push it fast and you put not the right digits and not the right uh, numbers, it will not connect. So I'm gonna double check, make sure it's connect. It's correctly, yes. So I go here and I confirm. Wi-Fi connecting. So my Wi-Fi is connecting right now. So I'm gonna give it a couple of seconds. And if there is any mistakes or if it's not Wi-Fi working, connected. it's more likely because you put the wrong password or you put the wrong like Wi-Fi password. Sometimes people do that, they type it in fast. I had the same thing, I had customers bought the cameras and they're like, my camera is not connecting. And I go there and I help them set them up and I'm like, they're like, I did the same thing you did. I'm like, yeah, but you didn't put your own Wi-Fi correctly. So you have to do that correctly, okay? Then it gives you an option here, guys. From here, it's super easy. Living room, office, you can use these cameras indoor or outdoor, but I put home. Okay, and I go to view the device. And it's connected. Perfect. So my my camera is connected. And then it give you a little bit of tutorial here. And then it also offers you a cloud storage. Okay, if you want to do that, I think to start is one cent. And then it goes, I think it gives you like seven days free or 20 days free or something like that. Even after that, it's about three dollar a month or two dollar a month so it's not very expensive i have two of these cameras outside and i use cloud storage you can put a memory card i'm going to show you guys real quick right here if you open the bottom of your camera or sometimes it's in the back of it there's a space for a memory card you can actually put a memory card here i like cloud storage because sometimes it might get corrupted or it might get damaged or it might get stolen or whatever might happen right and it comes in a little panel, so you can actually be the screws and everything, so you can put this on your wall. 
okay this year you have your speaker and that's it that's pretty much it okay I'm gonna close this real quick guys this is if you want to zoom in or you want to zoom out this is your PTZ you can go left you can go right you can go up down okay and then there's a if you want to take a picture you can take a picture here if you want to speak to somebody you have a two-way voice now it might sound funny because the speaker is right here but watch this hello 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 and I can hear people out there as well and then there's a recording you can actually record manually okay and then you can go to more and there's more settings but like I said confirm I'm gonna do a second video on how all the settings and all the features on this camera because they, I don't want to make this video longer than what it is close okay so this is how you guys can set up your v380 pro Wi-Fi camera okay please leave a comment if this video helped you set up your camera please subscribe to our channel so you can see our new reviews and support my channel and also if you have any questions any comments uh, leave a comment and I'll try to get back to you and make sure to keep an eye for the part two because in the part two I'm gonna show you all the features that this camera offers thank you so much for watching and have a great day